channel everybody. Uh, today I'm going to go over how I do the bottoms on my epoxy resin birdhouses. Uh, this is just the basic birdhouse that I was turning yesterday. I went ahead and drilled the entrance hole and then I drilled through the bottom. Now what I'm going to do, all of these are the same, they're just different designs. I'm going to go ahead and coat the inside of this birdhouse to make sure it's protected in case somebody wants to put it outside because this is glow-in-the-dark resin and I'm going to coat the inside of it and then I'm going to fill it a little bit turn it upside down and clamp it against the silicone what that'll do is that'll create a flat bottom for it and I can throw it back on the lathe smooth it out sand it and finish it okay so I've got my resin mixed and stirred up I'm going to go ahead and paint the insides of all these now I've got this one is apple wood. Um, this is off of an old dead apple tree that I pulled out of the, the woods outside. <clears throat> and these two are apricot. So I just used apricot log that I had from when I cut the, the tree down a little bit last year. Same as this white one. <laughs> Blow some of the dust out of there. So I'm just going to coat the insides of these. Doesn't have to be perfect. I'm not going to see it. So I just need to coat it so I don't have to finish it on the lathe. And once it's sealed up with the bottom on, I won't be able to do that anyways. So go ahead and dip a little bit of this resin in here. And it coats this apricot really nice. I did a goblet um, about five or six months ago and using the resin on the apricot wood really makes it look good. <clears throat> now, I did not sand this inside, I just drilled it. Again, you're not going to see any of this from the outside of the birdhouse once it's done. So, it's just an extra step that I feel is a waste of energy, so I didn't do it. And once I have a nice good coat on here, make sure the wood's all soaking it up. I'm going to pour a little bit in this one since it's white and the resin I mixed is white, um, that way it matches. I'm going to go ahead and pour a little bit in here, flip it upside down and clamp it. That way it stays in place and the clamp will ensure a good seal at the bottom. That way no resin leaks out. So you can kind of see in there a little bit. done. I'm going to go ahead and do the other ones on the inside so I can just flip them all over at the same time. <clears throat> okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour a little bit of resin in here and then I'm going to flip it upside down, try to trap the resin before it seeps out to the outside and then just keep it in a little ring that'll fill the bottom of this void. So, pretty simple. I just want to show you real quick. Got a couple more projects I was doing here in the back. I got some coasters for my nieces. They're going to enjoy them. One's a ladybug and one's a honeybee. So, all right, just kind of guesstimating how much resin to pour. Suppose when it's about where the side hole is, it's a good estimate of how deep it's going to be when I flip it around. Oops. Okay. So, nothing special. I'm just going to take it. And then with the, the side hole up, flip it this way, and then trap it here, and then put on a clamp real quick. Alright, so you can see at the bottom, the resin has fallen down, and it's going to create a white bottom for this white birdhouse. Alright, so I've mixed up some green. I'm just going to stir it a little bit more. Then I'm going to pour it in there. And... Hopefully, 
when I put the blue in on this, it's going to be close enough to the other birdhouse color. So we'll see. Let's pour some in. That looks good. I'm going to go ahead and mix the blue real quick and pour that in. Let's see how it turns out. All three are clamped. Now I just wait. Uh, probably tomorrow I'll take them off, make sure they're all dried, and put them back on the lathe and finish them. So, if you guys enjoyed this, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, it really helps me out. And until next time, this is the easy way to do things. We'll see ya.